Hi guys, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the number one thing that people get wrong when they're setting up the services page on their Squarespace website. So we are talking about the biggest mistake that people make both from a design point of view and also from an SEO point of view, because as a Squarespace SEO expert, Squarespace SEO is my bread and butter. It's my main area of interest. And it's something that I think isn't talked about enough. When people create a website or they're designing their services page, they want it to look a certain way, which is cool. We love that. We love the aesthetic. But if you think about your services page as being one of the money makers of your business, of your brand, it's a way to get your services in front of potential clients and customers then SEO should be a big consideration for you, right? Because if you have better SEO on the services page itself, then you can have a better chance of that services page showing up in an online search result, which means better business, more traffic, like a chance to get in front of more ideal clients and customers online. So SEO should be something that you're thinking about when you're building your services pages, but I realized that most people aren't. And again, that's fine. You don't know what you don't know. But if you found your way to this video, then hopefully I can show you what people are doing wrong and what to do instead, because it's not hard to fix it and to really improve the services page so long as someone points you in the right direction. So that's what I hope that you get out of this video here today. I know that's quite the introduction and I'm really like reaming this in for you, but these changes that I'm about to show you or present, I hope that you take them and apply them to your own website because I know for a fact you're going to see an improvement in SEO and just generally how your website shows up and it'll have a good impression too on potential clients and customers. So let's get right on into it. I am going to share my screen and let's, if I can click the button properly. Okay, cool. Before we go into everything, I want to let you know that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist that is available for download. I'm going to leave the link below in the description here. And this Squarespace SEO checklist has been downloaded by thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So you're an excellent company with it. And whether you are just starting out with Squarespace SEO, you are looking for someone to lay it all out, show you where to begin, here's the steps to take, don't forget to do A, B, C, D, then this Squarespace SEO checklist is for you. But also if maybe you're, you've dabbled a little bit, you're maybe a bit more intermediate, but you wanna make sure that you haven't forgotten anything, you've done it all correctly or anything like that, then again, grab a copy of this Squarespace SEO checklist that I'm going to leave in the link down below because it will help you out here to, to make sure that you have a really well-rounded SEO strategy in place on your Squarespace website. So like I said, downloaded thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So make sure you grab a copy because a lot of other people are too. All right, now let's take a look at your actual Squarespace website and we're gonna talk about the services pages now. So first of all, I'm gonna show you what most people do that is bad, okay? This is incorrect or not optimized, okay? And let us let me go through this, okay? Here we go, I'm going to be showing you on a demo Squarespace website, meaning this is a website that is not live. I've made it for a fake company, Coastal Construction Limited. It's on Squarespace version 7.1. And if your Squarespace website is on 7.0, that's fine. The same principles are going to apply here. So like I said, this is a fake business. And you can see here, let me try to make it full, full screen a bit more. In this services page, this is what I see people doing most of the time. They have, you know, the header for their, like the page, then they have service number one, and then they have all the information, all the information well, about service number one here. And then there's a button to be like book now. So the call to action right away is just like book now, mm, give me the money. <laughs> no, and then it goes down to service number two. Again, they think they're putting all the information there, everything that they want. And then again, book now, here it is. Service number three, let's say again, they think they've got all that info and then book now and that's it. Okay. And now this, let me tell you, this is bad from an SEO point of view. And there's a couple of reasons for this. And the first reason, reason is that if you have only one services page that has all of your, let's say in this case, three, three separate services, but they're all housed on one page, then 
really in Google's mind, they're like, what's this page about? Is it about this little bit of information? Is it about this topic? Is it about this idea? They're, they don't know. Google's not sure because they're confused and because there's just so much going on on the page that it's similar, but it's not like separate, you know? And if you think about how Google interacts with a web page, they're coming on your page, they're crawling the page to learn about what the content is, and then they're indexing your website to, again, think about how to return you in potential online searches. And if you want to know a little bit more about that process, then I'm going to link up above to a video that I talk about, like, getting started with Squarespace SEO, and I go through this crawling and indexing and explain that a lot more. So watch that video. But basically, if Google comes here and they see that all of your services are on one page, then they think about it. If if someone is searching just for one service, then they're probably not going to return this page that you have on your website in the online search results, or at least not at the top of the online search results for that one service, right? Because again, you're, you're not just talking about that one service. The page is talking about three different services, okay? And so actually from an SEO point of view, it's much more beneficial to take these pages off being one page and split them up into three. And you might be like, what? I don't understand. And if that's the case, don't worry. I'm going to show you two different examples of ways that you can set this up, okay? So first off, let us let me show you on my website, okay? So here on my website, if you, let me just move this a little bit. If you go to my work with me page, then you're gonna see that I have um, like a little, so it's kind of set up right now in a, a little bit of a way of this one where I'm outlining, you know, here's service area number one. And then what you're seeing here, I'm not explaining everything about that service. I'm just giving the person a little intro. And then I have a button here that clicks over to a brand new page all about this service number one, okay? And now this one here, this separate page, you can see it has a completely separate URL, right? It's a new page then this page is much more long form content, right? I explain everything that someone could need to know about this particular service, right? I've got like tons of testimonials. I have all the information someone could need about it, everything someone needs to make a purchasing decision, all that kind of thing. And then from a SEO point of view, this page, this separate page all about service number one ranks so much better than my just general work with me page. And again, going back to this general work with me page, I have service number one, right? A little bit of an intro about it. And then you click the button to go to the new page about service number one. And then scrolling down, still on the same work with me services page. Again, here's service number two. And I put a little bit of information, again, a, an overview, a teaser. And then if someone clicks here, now that's going to go again to a new page all about service number two. So going back to this example here on our demo website, what I would do instead of, again, thinking that you're putting all this information, everything that someone needs to know about service number one, mm -mm, mm -mm. what you would do instead is, again, use this as like a place to give a little preview, a a tidbit of it. And then this button, instead of being like book now or whatever, again, it clicks to the learn more and then goes to that new page. Okay. So this is the first option of how you can do it from a better SEO point of view. Another way that you might want to do this is set up your like work with me or your services page as a folder. Right. And so here, you know, again, if I'm kind of like looking at it, you can see that there's you know, so this is the example of like one bad one, but you could also have it set up here where you have like a services folder with the drop down of these new pages, right? And again, you can see that built in here. In this example, I have a folder, right? I've created a folder. And then you see these are the new pages that I have down below. And again, these pages, if I were to use the example on my, the website, like on my website page, you know, these, in, in if I were doing it this way, I hope this, you can still follow along. This page here, this like first one in the drop down, would be for kind of my like service number one, right? 
So instead of having that catch all, you know, like general work with me page that like lists the three out, you know, the one, two, three, instead of going that route, what you're doing instead is just a folder drop down in the main navigation that links to your various um, services pages. And then these drop downs in the folder, again, those are going to be the like long form content sales page where again, you're giving someone everything they need to know about the service, everything they need to know to make a purchasing decision. You've got the different headers with the different sections. You've got who it's for, what the service is like, what's included, the step-by-step -step process of how it, how it happens. You've got testimonials, you've got calls to action, all that sort of thing. That's all here on these longer form services pages. So again, do not make the mistake of doing what I've done in this like, bad <laughs> services page, which is putting everything all on one page and then making the call to action just to book now. Mm -mm -mm. Instead, go about it one of two ways, either doing the folder drop down or by having kind of like a general services overview that then links out to the separate pages. So I hope that is helpful for you. And I hope you understand not only why it's better from a design point of view or a user experience, client experience to set up your services page that way, but also that you understand from an SEO point of view, why you're gonna have much better luck ranking your services pages if you have each one of those services on its own separate page that really leans into the long form content. And again, whether you just, choose to display those separate services pages in a drop down folder or by doing a kind of like services overview that then links out to it kind of like what I have on my website either way both of those two options are great just don't make the mistake of putting everything all on one does that make sense can you let me know in the comments down below if you were able to follow along and see the difference between those three different options. I hope I explained it and gave you some good examples for you, but this is something that I really want to emphasize for you because if you do it this way, the way that I've showed you, either the folder drop down or the like services page that links out to the separate ones, you are going to have much better results from an SEO point of view. And I bet you as well that you also will just generally improve conversions and book more sales of your services. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like it or leave me a comment down below. Again, I'd love your feedback on any video, but this one in particular to make sure that I've like drilled it home and you really get what I'm talking about here. Um, grab a copy of that Squarespace SEO checklist. Again, I've left the link down below in the description for the free download. You can grab it at any point. And if you like this video, take a look at the other ones that I have here on my YouTube channel, all about Squarespace SEO, web design and development, online marketing and business. And I have lots more resources available as well on my website. So check those out too. But here we are at the end of this video. I hope this taught you something about the services page, how to set it up for best SEO and general user experience. And that's it for now. I will see you again soon in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. See ya. Bye.